Hello everyone, this is Rebecca and I'm here to show you how to convert a color photograph into a black and white photograph in Photoshop. So I've gone ahead and opened the bike file from Lesson 2 in Photoshop and over here in your adjustments panel you're going to click on the black and white icon. It's in the second row, third from the left. When you click on that it's going to open the properties panel as well as instantly convert your image to black and white. I don't like my properties panel encroaching on my um, image real estate, so I'm going to grab that panel and tuck it in here between my layers and my adjustments panels. And now I have all this nice space to work with. So uh, as you can see, there is a cool defaults preset drop down button. There's also a nifty auto correction button. So if you click on auto, you can see you get a tiny bit more contrast, but overall the image is still really gray and flat. Um, flat is a term that means that there's not a lot of really dark blacks and a lot of true crispy whites that overall the image is pretty gray. So we want to change that so that it appears more three-dimensional. Um, in the presets drop-down button there's a few great options. There's the blue filter, there is the uh, high contrast blue filter which I like, there is a high contrast red filter, and so what happens with these filters is that if it's red it's going to go ahead and eliminate a lot of the reds in the image. If it's blue, it's going to eliminate a lot of the blues in the image. It kind of does the opposite of what you might think it, it does. I'm going to go ahead and restore this back to default. Or what I can do down here at the bottom, well, if I make an adjustment, um, there's these little icons across the bottom. If you click on this little backwards arrow, then it'll restore it to the original, um, the original default setting. So you can go ahead and change the contrast in this image by either sliding these different colored sliders left and right. Um, you can always type in a value if you want or you can uh, grab this scrubber right here, this little hand with the two arrows icon, click on that button and then when you hover over an area your cursor turns into a little eyedropper and you hover and then you hold your mouse down and slide from left to right and it'll change all the colors in the scene that are in that area that you just grabbed. So right here, um, as you can see, I have still some, some um, definition. You see like the details there? I made the, dar the bike darker, but I still can see highlights within here. If I slide it, if I slide my red darker than you can watch that area, it starts to totally lose all that detail. So you don't want to go too crazy, but you do, the goal here is to get some true rich blacks in your shadows, and then you want to get some true whites, crispy, crispy whites in your highlights. So I'm clicking and scrubbing. I don't see much of a change there. I could click on this white area here and scrub and see if those come up. That's not changing either. How about over here, my gray? Okay. Now I'm getting some whiter whites, so that's working out. That looked like it changed my greens in my panel. Over here still kind of gray, so let me grab it. Okay, now we're seeing some more detail there that comes out. You can see it over here in this window reflection. I think right here is the person taking the picture. I'm not sure, maybe not. Um, and then, so also the same thing can happen in your highlights. You can lose too much detail. So that right, right down here, the sun is really blowing out this um, this brick and so you lose some of the texture there but sometimes you know you can't you can't win it all the time just try to keep as much texture in there as you can and now you can see that the image is a lot more three-dimensional this bike is really popping out and not blending into the background like it was in the beginning let me see if I can hit my default here and you can see how it looked before then I'll hit undo command Z and now you can see that the bike really stands out nicely and we have some rich dark blacks and some bright crispy white highlights and so I want to see that in your black and white conversions whether you do that for your assign one of your assignment one pieces or um, you definitely need to show me that when you turn in this bike um, exercise so let me know if you have any questions about anything and I'm excited to see what you come up with